The COVID-19 case count is high with Omicron cases surging, but that won't trigger a statewide mandate for schools to go remote. There will not be closures uh, ordered from this office or from the governor's office. The state superintendent says individual schools will make that call. Obviously, the case numbers are high, but with the decoupling and hospitalizations and in mortality, uh, the safety protocols we have in schools are very, very effective. At Seattle Public Schools, Washington's largest school district, some schools have canceled classes and one is going remote. A letter sent to SPS staff this week lays out the scenarios that might cause a school to go back to remote. They include if the elementary student absence rate approaches 50 percent, remote learning may be required for up to 10 days. Same goes for an absence rate of 40 percent of secondary students. And if 10 percent of the core group of staff and students are positive, remote may be considered. We need to like keep getting our kids vaccinated. It's the last thing parent Kelly Stone wants to see. Her son is a fourth grader in the Issaquah School District, which as of Tuesday has not issued any cancellations or remote learning. I don't see any reason why we have to wholesale close a school district. King 5 talked with Stone last year when her kids returned to in-person learning. Her daughter, Lexi, struggled with at-home learning and being away from friends. And our concern for the kids' mental health is you pull them out of school now and you say, okay, well, we're just going to do this for a week. Well, what happens in a week? Does that turn into a month? Does that turn into might as well just stay home for the rest of the year? Stone adding that it is now more important than ever to support school districts, classrooms, and of course teachers as we go through this Omicron surge. Now going back to the Lake uh, Washington School District, East Lake High School, we found out tonight is the latest to the fourth high school to opt for that temporary remote learning. Live in Seattle, I'm Christine Pei, King 5 News.